Welcome to a new art tip. Matt Dancho here, and we're going to be talking about this new package called Radiant, which is designed for business analytics. And we're going to be going through, it's really cool. It's, uh, we're going to make actually a little mini report and save this report here. Um, but this is a, a pretty impressive package. You can see it here. We've got a lot of different capabilities that we can use this for, and it's basically helping us to automate business analytics. So I'm going to X out of this and that's what we're going to be making today. So to get started here, let me stop this. You're going to want to do a Git pull, um, assuming that you have the, uh, GitHub set up. If you don't, um, check out our video tutorial on how to get our tips set up. And we're going to be working out of 048. There's the 048 underscore radiant dot R file. Just open that up. It's going to open up this file over here. Um, and then you'll see in my environment, I'm going to uh, just empty the environment. So we're starting fresh and control L. Okay. So again, RTIP48, talking about Radiant. Um, if you want to sign up for the RTIPS newsletter to get these every week, um, just check out this uh, link here and uh, get set up uh, to install Radiant. So Radiant actually has a, its own website. It's pretty good. Um, I'll put that link in here after the recording. Um, but what I did, they have a kind of a convoluted installation. So what I found successful was just running this install packages Radiant uh, with the repo pointed at their mini CRAN repo. Um, so you just run this and that'll get you in um, the installation. You'll know it's installed properly if you have in here under Radiant, uh, if I type in Radiant on the add-ins, uh, the Start Radiant Browser. Um, we're not going to hit that quite yet, but uh, we could. Uh, first, what I want to do is I want to load the libraries though next. So I'm going to uh, comment this out uh, and run a Library Radiant, Library Time TK. Time TK is my time series package. And the reason we're loading that in is to get this Walmart sales weekly data set. And we have to run this line here because I'm pulling in some data. So now it's in my global environment. That's going to be key because Radiant's going to, one of the options is to load data from your uh, local environment. So what we're going to do is run Radiant. So you can either run this command here or you can go to your add-ins and just do this. If you type in Radiant, so Radiant, start Radiant browser, click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to launch this browser. So this is what Radiant looks like starting out. And it's pretty cool. It loads in the data automatically for us. It's got the Walmart sales weekly data set. They also have some toy data sets in here that you can explore diamonds and Titanic. Um, so we're going to be working out of this Walmart sales weekly. And um, if you don't see that in here, just uh, scroll down and you can do this from global workspace. Click the load button. And what that'll do is allow you to load uh, specific data sets from your, your workspace. So remember, we added that data to our global workspace, and now it's in here. Um, so you can do a lot of cool stuff. I'm not going to go through all of the tabs. I'm basically going to focus on the data, the modeling, and then the reporting aspect of it, because uh, I think that's what you'll get the most value out of here. So this is managing the data. Um, you can view it. Uh, you can add filters in here um, to view. Uh, so I can do something like temperature greater than say uh, 45 and you can see now all of my temperature has just been filtered down um, so it's it's really kind of a nice BI tool um, starting out uh, I am going to delete that just because I believe it's safe it stores that so when I get to modeling I want to model all of the data but I just wanted to show you that um, check out the visualizations too so I'm going to pick a line chart and I'm going to visualize the weekly sales by date. Um, and then I'm going to add a faceting, com, com, uh, faceting row. And we're just going to click the create plot. And you can see it creates a plot. Now what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to actually scroll down here. And I'm going to go to report results. So if I click this, check this out. It puts the, um, and I actually already did this one. So this one was in there for me. Um, but uh, you can you can put this into this reports tab here and it'll store the code used to create that. So if I hit this knit report button, um, you'll see that it knits that report. So this is an R report. Um, we'll show you how to save the report as a PDF though, uh, or as a HTML document from 
um, our markdown. Okay, uh, so that's the last one. There's other tabs here you can explore. Um, we're going to uh, check out modeling too. So I want to just do like a simple linear regression and just show you how easy this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a response variable of weekly sales and I'm going to make it as a function of department, temperature, fuel price, markdowns, CPI, and unemployment. And I'll explain what these mean in a second. Um, and then you can uh, uh, store results. So I'm going to estimate the model. And just like that, it estimates, shows you what data you're using. Uh, if you have a filter, it'll show you that filter that, that's, that you're using in here. And then uh, what you can see here is that model, um, some of the information. This is basically the summary from R. So um, what's cool here, though, is you can actually create a plot and start to investigate some of these things. So I did a coefficient plot here. And um, you, you just uh, it, you can visualize the coefficients and see which ones are kind of having the bis biggest impacts on your model for a one unit change. Now, some of these like fuel price is measured in you know dollars, so one dollar fuel uh, increase will decrease your sales uh, quite a bit. And it looks like uh, one dollar uh, decrease will decrease uh, daily sales around like three thousand dollars or so. So it's pretty cool. We're getting some useful information um, out of this. And you can try out different plots. Um, you can also add this to your report. So I'll add this in here and I'll just re-knit it. Um, and now I've got the model in here and the coefficient. So I'm very quickly, you can see I'm building kind of a business analytics report. Um, when you are ready to kind of migrate over, uh, we can actually switch from the reporting uh, in R to R Markdown. So um, the uh, I haven't found out the most effective way to get back and forth, but you know what, obviously what we could do is just copy these. So I'm copying, and then I'm going to switch over to my R Markdown, and I will just kind of paste these in here. And this is what's called a code chunk. Um, and if you need any help, there's a, a little help icon here. It'll tell you kind of how to how to do certain things. Um, and then if we just knit this report um, I, you can see sample report purchasing trends we've got our model so if we wanted to separate these out okay and I'll just do three hashes here and I'm going to delete these out here cool so I'm going to re-knit this report and now I've got my sample report model results coefficient plot and i'm ready to now save my report um, notice that it's a notebook so I, I actually want to change that format we can change that you can do if you have a uh, latex installed you could do a pdf i'm just going to do an html report um, just because you don't need any extra installations and i will save that right here in here and i'm going to call this um, and it's give it the uh, Let's see, we want inside of the radiant and we're going to call this uh, my sample report. So sample report, save that. And you can see right now it's saving the report to HTML. And when it's done, we'll go check that out. So it looks like it's finished. Now we've got the sample report. I can view it in a web browser. And now I have my sample report saved right here. All right, so if you guys are interested in learning more about data science and business, uh, this is uh, an amazing opportunity. I put a free masterclass together and it covers my 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist. So this will cover, it literally package up, packages up five years of my knowledge uh, of learning various tools like R, Tidyverse, Shiny, and everything that I have learned in order to be able to become a really uh, good data scientist and to, uh, to be able to help lots of companies out and also have very good success in my career. Um, I actually doubled my salary uh, in the span of about a year or two just by using R and uh, using data science to be able to analyze business problems. And it caught the attention of my CEO. And it's also, um, uh, help, helped me kind of uh, become the data scientist I am today. So definitely check this out. Uh, it's a 40 minute training and it will teach you so much in those 40 minutes. You will leave transformed. You will love it. And uh, it will really help you uh, understand what I found valuable in my five plus years of learning data science. All right. See you there.